chit, 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 chit. You already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com, the one and only. We are live, kids. What's really good? Okay, uh, hopefully you guys are doing great. Hopefully you guys is doing amazing. You know me, I'm the wave, man. <laughs> I'm the young tsunami. You know what I mean? Hey, we here, man. We got some good news, man. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I want you guys to get motivated, man. I really do, right? I want you guys to come in and work hard because believe it or not, man, there's a lot of people getting hired every single day. And this is when you got to ask yourself, you're like, what am I doing wrong, right? How come other people are getting hired? What is it that they have that I don't have, right? And I can tell you right now, it, it really comes down to three things, right? So you have your portfolio, right? You got to have the skills. And another thing is determination, right? Not quitting, okay? You bump into a problem. It doesn't mean that, oh, that's it. It's the end of the world. Nah, it's just a small problem. And that's it. You just got to get through it, okay? Um, I want to say congratulations to Billy Rodriguez. I don't know if you guys uh, know who I'm talking about, but he's been here on the channel for a few months and came through codingphase.com. And now we just put him up on the Hall of Fame, okay? We're going to be adding a couple of more people uh, to the Hall of Fame today. Today, I got time to, to go in and update it. So we're going to be putting in like 10 more people in the Hall of Fame. If you guys haven't checked out the Hall of Fame, you guys can go to codingphase.com, scroll down, click on the Hall of Fame. This is people that have came in, wasted no time, and got their jobs and, and their skills up, okay? So shout out to everybody in here. We got uh, Wildy, a.k.a. Wally, uh, David, a.k.a. D.A. Norris, Amit Patel, Ray, your homie now, Billy Rodriguez. Shout out to Billy Rodriguez for getting his job. Started as an HTML email developer. Okay, there's something that, you know, this, his story is pretty cool, man. You know, it, it, you can go and read it yourself, but it's pretty much just like, yo, the structured career paths on codingphase.com are a great way to know what you need to get higher fast. The ability to jump in, into different career paths without starting from zero is a great benefit. I enjoy the teaching style, uh, allowing you to see how a senior developer will tackle bugs and gives you insight on how to start thinking when resolving coding issues, right? Uh, he, and then he goes into, you know, his job search, right? Um, he basically came in and said, my job search took about a month and a half. I faced a lot of rejections. Okay. <laughs> like that's normal, right? For those of you guys that's thinking, damn, I'm going to get my first interview. And I'm going to get hired that first day. Nah, you're going to get rejected. That's normal because you're going to learn from that. Okay. Uh, faced a lot of rejections as expected and some maybes, right? From there, uh, got a few interviews, Make sure to come out more knowledgeable for the next one, which is what you're supposed to do. You learn from that interview, even if you fail, even if you didn't know all of the things that they were asking you. Now, for the next interview, now you're prepared, okay? And shout out to him again, starting his career doing HTML email developer, right? And I want to point this out for everybody that that is watching this. It might say, Joe, there's a lot of people getting hired as HTML email developers, right? Or front end developers. And it's really because this is a great way to get into the industry, right? There's guys that will stay home for a year, a year and a half, or even longer, trying to get a front end engineer or uh, you know, full stack developer. But you have to understand that you can actually start working now. You don't have to wait a year from now, you don't have to wait six months from now, you don't have to wait nine months, you can start working today, okay? Um, you see here, HTML email developer, this is just a starting point for somebody like Billy Rodriguez, like, this is where he starts off. From there on, with the skills that he's learning at Coding Phase, he's going to continue to grow, and we're going to continue to update this, right? And I'm pretty sure in his next job, he's going to be a front-end engineer, you know, getting top dollar, right? He could be jumping into Shopify development. So we're going to keep track of, of Billy and, you know, in his journey as a developer. But I want to say congratulations to him, okay? Let's open up the chat box, see who's in here live with me. You know, I want to make sure that uh, I give my shout outs to the people that's here because I really appreciate it when you guys uh, spend some time with me on this live streams. Uh, so definitely make sure that 
you leave a comment a message here so like that we know you're you're here live okay uh but like i said man congratulations to him there's a lot of people that have been getting hired this this past month you know so we're gonna start updating uh codingphase.com and the hall of fame uh to make sure that we add them in there uh let me see who we got in here hey shout out to billy rodriguez he's in here <laughs> Don music uh antoine coles leonard Pert, uh reino jamal muhammad royal misa royal misa is another one that just got hired recently okay by by Jain, got him <laughs> el choricero uh beat of ike uh, let me see. Julian McLean says, literally the question I ask myself every, every, every effing day, <laughs> daily. Like, yo, what's going on with me? Why well, I'm not getting hired? Guys, you got to come into coding phase, bro. Like, look, I'll be honest. You can learn how to code wherever the hell you're going to learn at, right? It doesn't have to be just coding phase. But one thing that we can guarantee at coding phase is that we focus on skills that's going to get you a job. If that's what you care about, getting into the industry, there's no better website than codingphase.com. I can guarantee you that, okay? No one else focuses on jobs. No one else focuses on skills that, you know, those companies are actually looking for, okay? You could become, you know, the best developer in the world, you know, doing open source or whatever you want to do, right? But at the end of the day, if you don't have a job, you just a do with a hobby, that's the truth. If you don't have a job, you're not making any income. You're not making no money, either freelancing, either doing contract work, either, you know, working full time for a company. You're really just a dude with a hobby. And in here on codingphase.com, one of the things that, you know, I, I try to highlight, right? And I always put this here, and this is why it's on the front page. We don't teach coding as a hobby, okay? Learn the skills that are actually worth learning and get results. That's it. We focus a lot on React, Shopify, Node.js, PHP, and of course, HTML email development, right? Um, but at the end of the day, this is why we have this different, you know, career paths. And just like how Billy said in his, you know, in his paragraph where he shared his, uh, you know, his experience with coding phase, it's the fact that you can come here, you can come and start learning content editor, right? This is a career path. You learn these things here, text editor, HTML, CSS, terminal for developers, practical JavaScript, noting NPM basics, content management system, Google analytics, design software for developers, right? And the same skills that you're learning here, you can reuse for other career paths. So it's not just like, oh, I'm learning just this and that's say I'm done and this is all I can do. No, all of the skills that you're learning are actually like literally like building upon each other, right? So you learn content editor, right? You go in and, and do that. Now you have an avenue, jobs that you can apply to. You go in and, and you can apply to content editor, uh, web editor, uh, webmaster, um, you know, product editor, um, this a whole bunch, web producer, right? So just with the skills that you're learning here, this doesn't even take a month to learn. Okay, this don't even take a month to learn all of the skills and you can start working, start building experience. So by the time you do get to learn everything about the front end, everything about the back end, you already have six months, seven months, a year of experience working in the industry. So you're not coming off like, hey, I'm a beginner. It's like, no, you've been doing development already and you've been getting paid. Right. That's what companies care about. They really want to make sure that they're not taking a risk by hiring you. And they're the first one that take that risk. So at the end of the day, these are like, you know, entry level positions that you could get, you know, and for some people they might say, well, I want to get a hundred thousand, 200,000, 400,000. But what they don't understand is that that takes time. For you to get to that level, that takes time. That's not something that you do in a few months, right? At least here in Coding Face, we're honest. We're being real with people. For you to get a $100,000 uh, job, it, it, it really comes with a lot of things. It either you're going to have a lot of experience or you're going to have some type of thing that is going to make you stand out. If you got a degree from Stanford, from MIT, shoot, you're getting $100,000 on your first job. But if you don't have that, then you have to be realistic. The way how you 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 get those one hundred thousand dollar jobs is by is by actually having experience 
and and companies seeing that you have done this for other companies. That's just how it is. It's a process. So again, every single course that you come in here and you learn and every career path opens the door for you to start applying to new jobs and new opportunities, right? You know, if I tell you guys, hey, what's a marketing specialist, right? You go in, you look at the, the actual job listing and all of the things that's in there has to do with emails. Now, for somebody that is coming, like, let's say, I don't know, from any regular job, let's say you work in a regular job, let's say you're doing FedEx or you're doing whatever it is that you're doing, right? You're in accounting and you don't want to do accounting no more, okay? You're a database administrator. You don't want to do database administration, okay? So now you come in and you say, damn, there's jobs that are hiring web producer or content editor, um, you know, a webmaster, what is it that's stopping me from actually getting those jobs? And it's just having the skills. This is not something that you're born with a gift. You don't have to have a talent. It's that you need to have the skills. Okay. So that's what we're doing here. We prepare you. So when you go in and you see all these job listings, you could start applying, start applying, start building up experience and get your bag. Okay. Um, by the time you're doing, you know, three, four months in, you already have the other skills, which is gonna allow you to open up the doors for front-end engineering, back-end development, right? Uh, Full-stack development, Shopify. So at the same time, it's like you're, you're, you're using the skills that you do know and then getting paid to learn more. Basically, that's what's really happening. So again, take advantage, man.